And here we go. I finally get to do this test. It's been on my mind for a while. How much electricity will this Medea 8000 BTU inverter air conditioner use? On an hourly basis, on a minutely basis, however you look at it. I wanna know how many watts does it pull? The reason I got that Medea air conditioner is because I've been focused on battery power backup a lot more recently. And air conditioning and heat is something that takes a big percentage of your total capacity. So it was recommended in some forums that you get an inverter air conditioner like the one over there, um, the Medea 8000 BTU one. And it should be a lot less power draw than the other air conditioner options that you have. I know I have one in my shed, um, one of the standalone units that you put the four inch vent hose um, out, out the window. That one draws like 1500 watts, which would drain this Jackery power station in just an hour. Um, I have other power stations. I have EcoFlow Delta Pros that I use primarily for, for home backup. Um, but either way, total consumption from an air conditioning unit is something that is very important uh, because it uses more than pretty much anything else. And 1500 watts on my other air conditioner was just way too much. So I haven't tested this thing yet. I really have no idea how much it's gonna draw. From what I've read, I'm expecting it's gonna draw maybe 400, 500 watts. The reason I haven't tested it until now is because it's really a hassle to get this thing out of the box and get it in the window. Now we're lucky, I finally get to do the test because yesterday my central AC broke, which I now had it fixed today, but I had to get the window air conditioner unit out, get it running, it runs good, but now I'm curious, before I take it out of the window, put it back in the box, how much power does this thing actually draw? So now that I'm two minutes into the damn video, let me do what we, we came here for. Plug this thing in. I really don't even know how much power this thing draws yet. I wanted to wait until now. I don't want to have to put the camera down. Let me try to plug this in the best I can. I probably should have plugged it in beforehand. We'll get it in though. Have confidence in me here. That's something annoying about these power stations. Every couple of seconds, it seems, and all of them do this, the, the screens turn off. But of course, it's to conserve power. That's the whole point of them. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Turn this thing on. Oh, I've got to... I've got to turn AC mode on here first. I'm plugged into this side, so there's a button right here. AC is on. Output. It just jumps on for a second, just because I have it plugged in. That's just standby power. Output, zero watts. Let's turn on our 8000 BTU Medea inverter air conditioner. And these inverters use a lot less electricity than regular air conditioners. Um, but we'll see what we're dealing with now. As soon as I looked at it, it said like 45 watts right from the initial draw. 400 watts. The unit is on, but I don't know if it's doing the full, full watt capacity right now because the compressor might not be on yet. I don't know. So we'll keep an eye on it. I saw it get to around 450 for a second. 459, it just jumped to. Let's keep this screen on. So I feel it, it's definitely cold air coming out. So the compressor is on. These things are quiet too, these inverters. 450 watts. I mean, that's just when it jumps. It seems to be doing consistent, pretty much like low 400s. Which that's good when it's trying to cool the room because once the room reaches temperature, uh, like overnight when the sun's not out, then it, it would draw a lot less than that, I'm sure. And we could test that in a second. So yeah, it looks like around 400 watts. Not bad, I'm happy with that. 
Now let's look at these controls. It looks like it is in eco mode. I just turned it off. Let's see if that made any sort of difference here. It doesn't look like much of a difference. It might have jumped up like a couple of percentage points. It jumped up to 470 for a second there. I hadn't seen that yet. So eco mode does look like it might save a little bit, but still it's, it's less than 500 watts. It hasn't touched 500 yet. So that's good power consumption. Let's put it back in eco mode. I don't know if that eco mode really makes much of a difference, honestly. Maybe in certain circumstances, but under the circumstances currently right now today, I don't see much of a difference with that. But I've got it at 60. Let's crank it all the way up to a temperature where I know it's, it's not gonna be cooling anymore. So you see, I just put it up to 85, so it's got no need to be cooling. Still looking like around 400 watts. I don't know why that didn't make a difference. see what else we got to play around with yeah I'm looking at the screen here too it still says really similar 400 watts so I've got to play around with it a little more because I'm sure once it reaches temperature for the room um, it, it would lower its consumption Block consumption it would have to I'm sure but still 400 watts consistent you, you can go a whole eight hour night and only draw 3200 watts which is like one Delta Pro that that's pretty nice to have AC running let's see what else we can play around with we've got fan speed let's put it on low Two, wow, that made a big difference. It went down to 299 for a second. 270. And I have it at, at 60 degrees now, so we know it's blowing cold air, which it is. I feel it. It's a lot. The fan speed is definitely reduced, though, definitely. So that's what you want to do when you want to conserve power. It's blowing cold air, definitely, like I, it, noticeably cold air, and it's only drawing 274 watts. That's, that's impressive. So that's the key to uh, power consumption with these things. Run them on low if you need to, but even on high, it was only drawing 400 watts. Man, look at that though. 289, 277. That's amazing to have air conditioning running for the whole night and only draw like 3,000 watts. What else can we play around with? Fan speed medium. Three thirty-five, three forty-nine. So mid threes to about four hundred, low fours even. It still does feel relatively slow with the fan speed compared to the way it was when I turned it on. Because I had it on auto at first. Let's put it on high. Didn't seem to make much of a difference with the consumption between medium and high. We're still looking at low, low to mid fours, so a little bit of a difference but the airflow on high is much more. So 
So there you have it. The Medea 8000 BTU inverter air conditioner, I think is a good choice for power consumption for anybody looking to run on, uh, on battery power. And again, let's just put the fan speed back on low. And watch it drop. It was at 400. 327, 309. Yeah, I'm amazed by that. High 200s to 300. And still getting cold air. That really, truly is amazing. And the flow is not that bad. When the sun is down, you'll be happy to have it. So I'm glad I finally got a chance to do this video. I will, um, man, like I said, I'll be happy to have this thing during the next hurricane or power outage and I can have air conditioning running and not use all my battery power. Still have enough battery power to run my lights, my TV, my internet, my router, uh, my refrigerator. That's, that's all important stuff that doesn't take as much electricity as most air conditioning units. So it's great to have something like this. Thanks for watching guys. Hope it was helpful to someone. I know I was looking all over the forums to see exactly how much power this thing was drawing. Uh, I would comment in everybody's, everybody's posts, like how much is it drawing? So I finally got to check it out myself due to the circumstances. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you like my video, go ahead and like it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think I should talk about next. If anything, let me know some other cool shit that's out there that I should check out. Maybe other stuff I should buy. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks again for watching.